Hey, what up, Laker fans? D-Mac here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at D-Mac underscore LA. We've got the latest Cam Reddish rumors coming up in just a second. But quick reminder for all latest Lakers news and rumors all season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Lakers 24A question of the day. Do you want to see the Lakers trade for Cam Reddish? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Let me know down below, but let's dive into the latest rumors that have the Lakers as one of a handful of teams that are still interested in trading for the former number 10 pick at a Duke in the 2019 draft. Mark Stein says the Knicks are ramping up their efforts to move Reddish, who hasn't played in a game since December 3rd. He's not a part of the Knicks rotation at the moment, so they are looking to move him. And he writes that the Dallas Mavericks have joined the Milwaukee Bucks and Los Angeles Lakers in pursuit of Reddish. The Knicks are only seeking a second round pick plus matching salary. Now Stein did also mention that the Mavericks now Stein did also mention that the Knicks do like Reggie Bullock of the Mavericks and that would be their ideal trade that they would want but as of right now the Mavericks aren't looking to deal Bullock even though he has struggled this season but there is the connection there with Thibodeau and Bullock but right now the Mavericks aren't looking to deal him for Reddish but of course we know about Cam Reddish. He's a guy who has had that limitless potential that upside he is a wing he is a guy who if he realizes his potential he could help a lot of teams and make himself a lot of money there's a lot of teams out there that would want a player of cam reddish's caliber if he could just be the guy that we all hoped he would be but if you look at his numbers this season averaging 8.4 points a game in just 21.9 minutes and if you look at the three-point percentage for his career shooting just over 32 percent and he just hasn't found it from beyond the yard this season averaging averaging just over 30% and from the field as a whole shooting 44%. So he's the guy that just has not offensively been able to get it to click, but the upside is there. If you look at earlier in his career, he averaged double digits for the first four years of his career, came to the league at age 20. So he's a guy that continues to just not have a great situation for himself. And I think if you're the Los Angeles Lakers and you consider the price tag and how much it has already gone down, because look, a month month ago we saw the Knicks looking for a first round pick Dan Wolke wrote this a month ago there are a couple people within the organization very intrigued by New York Knicks forward Cam Reddish a six foot eight 23 year old wing who would give the Lakers size on the perimeter a massive need he's also a former lottery pick the kind of reclamation project the Lakers have had some success with this year with a player like Lonnie Walker the fourth league sources say the Knicks are seeking a protected first round pick for Reddish they sent one to Atlanta in the deal to acquire him and the Hawks subsequently used it in their trade for DeJounte Murray Reddish isn't currently the, in the Knicks rotation so the asking price is expected to eventually dip and it most certainly has and the Lakers can take advantage of that and if all it takes is a second round pick in which the Lakers they have seven second round picks they can work with in the next few years and also you match that salary you can give them Kendrick Nunn and you get a can Reddish. Now, what are the benefits of Cam Reddish aside from the fact that he could give the Lakers some much needed wing depth? He can be a better perimeter defender and the Lakers, they can develop him more in a situation where he can get more time. They have a defined role for him on this team. And look, the reality is that when you consider the Lakers lack of assets and look, the reality is when you consider the Lakers lack of assets and how premium a position the wing is right now in the NBA, you have to take a risk on guys like Cam Reddish. You you have to hope that he can tap into that potential and he does check off a lot of boxes he is big he is long he does have size and athleticism and also he'll be a restricted free agent the Lakers will have his bird rights so if he does work out they could potentially sign him and we know that has been the issue with players in recent years the Lakers have not been able to retain talent because they haven't had their bird rights just look at Malik Monk last season for example so Cam Reddish is a guy who Look, he's a former lottery pick. He's a guy that has flashed at times. And I think if you're the Lakers, it's really a low risk move considering you're trading away potentially a Kendrick Nunn and a second round pick. So I think if the Lakers can get a deal done for Cam Reddish, I absolutely think they should. It makes a lot of sense. And look, when I tell you a few months ago, I said the Lakers would never trade a first round pick for Cam Reddish and that that price would go down. Now it's looking like it's buying Halloween candy the day after 
Halloween. You're starting to see the discounts, and that price is only going to go down because the Knicks absolutely have to move him because he's not even in their rotation at the moment. And he definitely has been consistently pretty much underwhelming throughout his entire career from his college days to the NBA. But still, there definitely is some potential there. And I think the Lakers should strongly consider making the move for Cam Reddish. I'm not saying that it's going to solve all the Lakers' problems at the wing position. And it's definitely a long shot if he'll actually work out. And if you look at his contract, he has a $17 million cap hold and an $8 million qualifying offer. But if you see it and you identify it, maybe you take this gamble, you roll the dice, and Cam Reddish can be a guy that can contribute to for your team for years to come. So I think this is a move the Lakers should strongly consider because there's not a lot of options out them for them to consider and i'd pull the trigger if i was la get cam reddish on the lakers and let's see what he's got in purple and gold but let me know down below in the comment section do you want to see the lakers trade for cam reddish to me it comes down to the simple fact that i think cam reddish could help this lakers team this year more than kendrick nunn could the guy that after he made the three he's complaining for the call and yes he should have gotten the call but hey that really hurt the lakers in that situation so kendrick nunn he's been pretty much a disaster for the lakers hasn't controlled contributed very much at all so i think the lakers would be wise to make this deal if they could but let me know down below my name is doug mccain you can follow me on twitter and instagram at dmac underscore la for our latest lakers news and rumors be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you want to see us post even more lakers content smash that like button and until next time go lakers <laughs>